problem five. The average weight of a golden retriever is 68 pounds. Sarah feels that the average is greater. A test of 20 golden retrievers had a mean weight of 70 pounds with a sample standard deviation of 2.6 pounds. Use the p-value method and a significance level of alpha equals 0.01. So it's a little redundant since alpha and the significance level are the same thing. Okay, now it starts off saying the average weight of golden retriever, but as we'll find out in the next section, the test isn't always about the average. So what we want to do is find the part where the claim comes about, and since it says Sarah feels, this is the part where she's claiming something, that the average is greater. So that means we are using mu is greater and greater than the number that it starts off with as a fact. So I have my claim as the alternate hypothesis. So next I want to go ahead and write down all the information I had from the problem, the sample size, sample average, sample standard deviation, and significance level, just so that they're handy for me. Now, because we're testing a mean, I need to know if I have the population or a sample standard deviation. I don't see the population standard deviation given anywhere, but I do see that a sample standard deviation was provided. So this means that when I go to find my test statistic, I'm going to be finding a T test statistic. I start by taking my sample average of 70, subtract the population average, which in the null hypothesis is listed as 68, and divide by the sample standard deviation all over the square root of the sample size. Remember, thinking of parentheses might help, or especially when entering it into your calculator. I'm going to get 3.44010, etc., and I tend to answer my test statistics with only two digits to the right of the decimal. Now I'm ready to find the p-value because the directions told me to. So we just mentioned we're using the t-table. I have that reminder because I have a t-test statistic and I only have a sample standard deviation. So I'm going to go to row n minus 1, so row 19, and I'm going to look for my test statistic of 3.44. So in row 19, I see 2.861, which is too small, and then the next number is 2.539, which is even smaller. So the number I'm looking for would be before the table even started. So I want to look at the trend up top. And a one-tailed test is at the top up here. And, whoops, sorry, erased it and did it again. So what is the trend? Because my test statistic, or I'm sorry, my p-value is going to be to the left of those numbers. So when I read those numbers from left to right, I see 0 0.01, and then it gets smaller to 0.005. So the number I want is going to be even smaller. My p-value is less than 0 0.005. And now I'm ready to decide whether I reject or fail to reject. The rule is, if the p-value is less than alpha, the significance level, reject H0. So even though I don't have an exact p-value, I've got a range, something less than 0 0.005, is that less than my significance level of 0.01? Yes, 005 would have been less, and my number is even smaller than that. This means that I reject H0. So my claim is H1, I reject H0, and I have a final conclusion of the sample data supports the claim that the average weight of a golden retriever is greater than 68 pounds. So I'm listing the population purport, um, parameter of average it is specifically an average for the weight of a golden retriever. The claim is that it is greater than the amount of 68 pounds.